Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and I'm checking in on the stacked DIY bin. Taking it apart here, and trying to see if it worked. Put some food in the bottom, hoping all the worms would go down to the bottom. And uh, it certainly seems to have worked. They all do seem to be, for the most part, down here in with the onions and the avocado the fresh bedding <laughs> even the onions trying to grow again down here but they they do look like they have been moving down here very nicely So I'm going to fluff this up just a little bit. Of course, can't help but digging around to see what they're doing. But it looks like I did get a lot of worms down here out of my almost finished middle layer. Um, I depopulated and took the castings out of the upper layer. So we're going to let these guys continue on. Ooh, that's just like a big wad of hamburger. So they've got enough air down here. We've done enough fluffing. So now I'm going to bring it back and we're going to pull out the middle layer material and rebuild it. Back in a second. Alright, here is the middle layer that I have just emptied out. There was very, very few worms in here. Uh, let's see, I'm going to show you over to the bucket here. And although there is some stuff to sift here, there really is not very many worms at all. It's all nice and fluffy and it's ready to sift. So I will probably bait out the remaining handful of worms in here and then uh, let's rebuild the middle. Alright, so for the middle rebuild I have got some prepared bedding here which is the junk mail uh, that's been sitting, that's been moistened with casting liquid, not really tea, it wasn't aerated or, or aerated or anything, but um, it was basically the, the liquid from compost tea poured through a screen and that's what I used to moisten it with. I usually give it a little bit of like molasses or something to help it get going. You can see there is a lot of colored paper there. I know some people are worried about it, but it does go away eventually. It is slower than regular white office paper, but I'm fine with that. I'm cool with that. So I wanted to give it a little extra light so you could see the colors, but now uh, I'm going to give them a feeding. Hey, look, I found more apple goo. So I'm going to spread that out over and then kind of incorporate it into the bedding. It's pretty cold down here in the basement, um, having a little bit of a cold snap. It's probably, it's below 20 Fahrenheit. So, uh, this, this is cold. But the worms, you know, they do slow down and that's fine. So that's what I'm going to do. I already put the um, grit in with the bedding. So I don't have to add it every time that I'm, I'm feeding because I tend to forget that stuff. So this is going to be their new middle part. So let me get the light out of the way. You can see that was about a gallon of apple goo and three quarters of a cat litter bucket of bedding. Alright, uh, I'll bring you back when I've got the top on. All right. 
Okay, so I've uh, brought you back down uh, to see the the top layer. I had taken most of the everything out and uh, tried to make this as unappealing as possible so that they would get out. Which, aside from clippings from my house plants, I don't really see any worms in here. So. I'm going to feed this up and then I'm going to put some leaf bedding on top of it. Not really trying to be experimental, uh, but I've seen a couple people do some pretty interesting food choices lately. This is some stuffing left over from Thanksgiving. There is a little bit of uh, turkey in there, but mostly it's cornbread dressing with onions and cranberries and things like that. So I'm going to give them the opportunity to see what they think about stuffing. I imagine it'll do mostly what it is with bread. The only thing that's new for me is the, uh, the chicken part. I've not done that before. Uh, additionally, then they're going to get some work garbage, which is somebody's potatoes that didn't make it, and coffee. And I think that's, that's really enough. Okay, I've got a little cardboard scraps left over from making the lasagna. So I'm going to put those in there. And then I'm going to put the same ground leaves that I've been feeding to the African night crawlers in here. These have been wetted down a little. but they are mostly dry, but that food is going to be very wet. So I'm just going to cover this and let it, let the moisture equalize and then I'm going to keep an eye on it. Okay. Obviously not the lid that goes on this, but uh, it leaves some room for air around the outside. But this will keep the moisture on this level. Let me know what your comments are in the bottom. What do you think about the stuffing? Um, I'm in the basement, so it's not too horrible. Most people wouldn't think doing the leaves. But uh, let me know what you think. What is your experience? Um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and ring that little notification bell if uh, you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it. I'm going to uh, put some links in here for the playlist for this so you can go back and watch the progression of this bin. But I wanted to thank you for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good night.